Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tuesday, where I attempt to demonstrate a topic in two minutes or less. Today's episode covers how to import the standard posting rules in Epicor ERP10. But first, a word from our sponsor. An aris is the sharp edge formed by the intersection of arches. Where the two complex shapes meet, a simple shape is formed. At Aris Consulting, the aris represents the point where the complex becomes simple. Whether you need implementation assistance, training, or business intelligence services, Aris Consulting is there to help your ERP system evolve. Aris Consulting. We make the complex simple. And here we go. Let's put two minutes on the clock. For our demonstration today, we'll be using the Epicor training environment. This system uses a three-segment chart of accounts that includes a segment for the natural account, the division, and the department. To import our posting rules, we'll open GL Transaction Type from the main menu. Then, from the Actions menu, we'll choose Import GL Transaction Type. These are your posting rules that Epicor uses to determine how your GL transactions will be processed. Clicking the Load Transaction Type button will populate the grid with all of the required transaction types. We will be selecting the Import All, Replace All, Change All Revision Statuses to Active, and Force Manual Selection for Books and Segments checkboxes. Visiting the Company tab will show you all the companies that these rules will apply to. These rules will be imported as active and any existing rules will be blocked. On the Books and Segments Mapping form, we'll check the Use for All Transaction Types checkbox. We'll then confirm that the proper book is selected in the top portion of the screen and that the segment mapping on the lower portion is correct. When we hit the OK button, the rules will be imported, the old ones blocked, and the new ones marked as active. It may take a bit for the import process to finish. And there you have it, our rules have imported successfully and we managed to do it in two minutes or less. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.